Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the channel where you learn to love learning. Please subscribe to my channel as I'll be creating loads more tutorials for you to help you with your learning in primary school and also like this video. I just want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers so far, it means the world to me and please comment down below any other tutorials that you would like to see and any other content that you want me to create. So on with the video. Hi guys, welcome to a tutorial based on rounding. Today we're going to be rounding to the nearest 10, the nearest 100 and the nearest 1000. So let's start with a number. Let's have 5,672. Now whenever you have a number, the first thing that you would want to do is to label using your place value grid. So we've got the ones, the tens, the hundreds and the thousands. Now the first thing, let's do the nearest 10 first of all. Now I'm going to show you a technique which is called the dot and dash. So what you want to do is when you're rounding to the nearest 10, for example, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to dot the tens because you're rounding to the nearest 10. Then you're going to dash the number that's to the right of that digit that you're focusing on. So in this case, it's the ones. So dot and dash. OK, so these two parts are what we're really, really interested in, especially when we're rounding to the nearest 10. Now, there is a rhyme that you can use to remember how to round, and that is four or less, let it rest, five or more, raise the score. So the number that's dashed, in this case, it's two. Four or less, we let it rest. So that means we let the tens rest. So in that case, the tens won't change. However, the ones are going to change to zero. So in this case, we've still got 5,000. We've still got 600s. And remember, the tens rest. They stay the same in this case, okay? Because it's a two, so we round down or it, it stays the same. So we've got seven tens. And what did I say about the ones? Yep, turns to zero. So in this case, 5,672 would round down to 5,670. So it would round down to the previous 10. Okay. Let's try another one. So let's have, let me rub this out. And let's have another four digit number. Okay, so let's try, uh, let's have 6,756. Now in this case, we're going to round to the nearest hundred. So remember that technique, dot and dash. So because we've rounded to the nearest hundred, we're going to dot the hundreds because we're focusing on the nearest hundred. And then we're going to dash again the digit to the right. So in this case, it's the tens. So we're really focusing on these two. So to the nearest hundred, we're going to think about it. And in this case, remember the rhyme? Four or less, let it rest, five or more, raise a score. Now the tens in this case, that's five or more. So we're going to round up. So the hundreds are going to change now. And we're going to add an extra hundred. So we've still got 6,000. Add an extra hundred. That will be 800 now. And the other digits all turn to zero. So the nearest hundred is 6,000. 800 and all of the digits, the last two digits go to zero. Okay, let's try one more. This time we're going to round to the nearest thousand. So let's have, let's have 8,500 
and 62. Okay, so rounding to the nearest thousand, so dot and dash. We dot, in this case, we dot the thousands, because we're focusing on the thousands, and we dash the hundreds. So these are the two that we're focused on. Now, five or more, raise the score, four or less, let it rest. So five or more, we raise it. So in this case, we round up, so the thousands are going to change. So we add an extra thousand. So in this case, it will be 9,000. Now, all the other digits turn to zero. So 8,562, it rounds up to the next thousand, which is 9,000. So I really hope this video made you understand better how to round the nearest 10, nearest 100 and nearest 1,000. Just to recap, if you're rounding to the nearest 10, focus on the ones. If you're rounding to the nearest 100, focus on the tens. And if you're rounding to the nearest 1,000, focus on the hundreds. So it might be an idea to practice some more random four or three digit numbers to have a go.